It is the sweetest home in college football. No team in the country has won more consecutive games at home than the Oregon Ducks. So it is appropriate that on a homecoming Saturday, the Ducks put their newly found prominence on the line. What time is that? What time is that? And while they own the nation's longest home winning streak, they no longer hold the top spot in the polls for a Pac-10 team. So today, Autzen Stadium becomes a proving ground. And the medal for the test will be a team that won the Pac-10 title just two years ago, the Stanford Cardinals. They seem to be teams from two different worlds, but they are a lot more similar than you might think. Both have one of the nation's highest scoring offenses. They're here to get that education so they can be on the stock exchange market. They don't want to win no football game on Saturday. Both have defensive impact players who have wreaked havoc on their opponents. Come on, Jack, get it on, baby. Get it on, baby. But there is one big difference the place the Ducks call home. All right, let's get it started early. It is our house. Let's keep it that way. Let's go three. Here we go. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Which leaves the question, can the school of big thinkers think their way out of the perils of Otzen? The Stanford players got their first look at the Ducks' house under quiet conditions on Friday. But it's Saturday, and the Duck fans have brought the noise and the atmosphere as Oregon looks to go 7-0 for the first time since 1933. We've got the kickoff, Oregon and Stanford on Going Deep with the Ducks on Fox Sports Net. like Stanford has won the toss. Back. While everyone is talking about the consecutive game home winning streak, there's another streak on the line with Washington's loss to UCLA. Oregon has won more Pac-10 games in a row than anybody else, and here we go to see if they can do it again. Stanford began the opening drive at their own 14 and tried to trick the Ducks on the very first play. <laughs> on third and 10 from the 14, Fasani under pressure, but the pass finally worked. The defense looked like they had found a break, but Stanford retained possession. On third down, Stanford needed only seven yards. They get more. And one play later, they moved into the red zone. First down and goal from the inside of the four. Give it to Carter. Cuts to the right side of the tackle to the one. And he's trying to push his way in. And they're going to finally blow the whistle. They do. He didn't make it in inside the one-yard line. Now at the one-foot line, Stanford would use the bull rush. Well, it's not the start the Oregon fans and the Oregon team expected here at Autzen Stadium. Stanford went the distance of the field in just three and a half minutes after making that big third down conversion, and they've stunned the Autzen crowd, taking a 7-0 lead.
On the kickoff, Cardinal kicker Mike Baselli sent it skyward and out of bounds, allowing the Ducks to start at the 35. With momentum on their side, the air show continued. Keenan Howie. 48 yards and a first and goal. Stanford five. Two plays later, the combination would work again. Four plays, 65 yards in one minute. Oregon tied it up 7-7. Seven seven. Siegel to kick it off and approaches the ball and here comes Oregon defensively. Very short kick. This is going to be taken at the 12, 20. Allen up to the 25, the 30. Look out. He's at the 40. He may go all the way. 40, 30. And instead of the 20 of Rashad Bumpson out of bounds up inside the 20 yard line at the 13 yard line. Starting at the Oregon 13, Stanford began their drive. They had scored in all but one red zone opportunity coming into the game. Gainer pick for the Oregon six. It'll be third down two. And the statistic would stay intact. Number eight, Harry Carter, Kevin With just over eight minutes to go in the first quarter, Oregon would begin their drive at their own 28. <laughs> 